Hi beauties, Rosie here from rosiepena.com, a sewing and style blog. Today I'm here with my October sewing plans. So today I'm going to be sharing with you four things that I'm going to be making this October month. Um, this video is actually really hard for me to film because I usually don't plan my makes. I usually just go day by day and see what kind of is inspiring me. So this video was really tough to get together but I managed to plan out four things for you guys and I'm really excited to share them with you. To get started, I want to show you this Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top. I am absolutely in love with this pattern. By the time I post this video, you've already seen it. I posted it to the blog probably a day or two days ago. Um, I highly suggest it and I'll link that in the blog post to this video. So one of the fabrics that I have to share with you is this beautiful wool um, polyester blend. Let me go ahead and give you a close up. Um, I recently purchased this from Joann's Fabric. They had a 50% off red tag sale. So I got a really good deal on this um, wool blend. I paid, I believe it was $10 a yard, which for a wool anything is pretty good. So the thing that I want to sew with this polyester and wool blend is, actually I can't decide what I want to sew with it. So I have two options. See this Vogue skirt. You can't really see that. It's Vogue 9209 and the description on the back says fitted wrap skirt has button closings and length variations. So the other option for that fabric that I want to sew is Vogue 9037 and the description says a loose fitting unlined double breasted jacket has collar variations front and back tucks. I've never sewn a tuck so I'm not really sure what that is. Hopefully I'll be able to figure it out from the pattern instructions. Um, so yeah, I either want to sew one of these two patterns. First I was leaning more towards the skirt and now I'm kind of leaning more towards the jacket. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think what would go really well with this wool polyester blend. I'd love to hear your opinion. So the next thing that I have to share with you is this McCall's pattern 6844. It's not a new pattern. I believe it came out maybe two years ago even. I'm not 100% sure. But I sewed this once in the peplum version. And I want to sew this again in a duster length cardigan. So I've never sewn a duster before, but it shouldn't be that hard to figure out. You basically just need to add length to your pattern. And so yeah, I think that'd come out really cute. And the fabric that I have for that is this maroon rib knit. It's pretty sheer, pretty lightweight, so it's not going to be a, a heavy cardigan or anything like that. But I live in Texas so it doesn't really get too um, cold over here, but I think this will work really well for what I need it for. So yeah, McCall is 6844 and I want to sew a duster cardigan out of this. The next pattern that I want to work on is Simplicity 8175 and I debated between the skirt version or the culotte version and I'm pretty sure I'm going to sew View E which is the culotte version. Yeah, when this pattern first came out, I was really drawn to the picture on it. The way she has the skirt styled here, it looks gorgeous. Um, so the fabric that I want to use for this is a pretty simple fabric. It's just a black. Uh, it feels like a suiting type of fabric. Let me give you a close up. So it said black on the label, but it, it kind of comes off a little bit of kind of gray-ish. So it's not 100% black. And it does have a good amount of stretch to it. Um, so yeah, 8175 Simplicity and I want to sew the culotte version out of this. The last thing that I have to share with you is actually the thing that I'm most excited about. Um, it's a shirt dress tunic. It's one of McCall's newer patterns. It's McCall's 7472. The way the model has it styled here on the pattern cover is basically the style that I want to go for. Um, she has a red plaid version and the fabric that I have for this is actually this gray um, plaid and I absolutely love this it's the perfect weight it's not too light and it's not too heavy um, the colors I love the colors it has these really cute sides the back of it says loose fitting button front shirts and tunics it has a raglan sleeve and hem and collar variations so yeah, I'm super excited for this pattern. I hope it turns out well. Let me know if you've sewn this up and um, 
what you guys thought about it. I usually post style photos to the blog every week, so hopefully you guys will be able to see some of these things sewn up within the next few weeks. Um, I don't know if I'm going to check in at the end of the month and do an um, October sewing makes video. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. I usually, like I said, I'll post all the things I've made to the blog um, in style photos. So if you'd like to see me in the video sharing them as well, just go ahead and let me know that in the comments. Also, if you have any other video suggestions, I'd love to hear So them. I forgot to show you guys what I'm wearing. This is another Sew Over It Top Pussy Bow Blouse. And this time I did the high neck version. And I think next time I might lower the V just a tad. I really love this pattern if you haven't checked it out, the Sew Over It Pussy Bow Blouse. So that is it for this video, you guys. I just wanted to do a super quick um, video and let you guys know what I have planned to sew for this month. Go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know what you guys have planned for this month. And go ahead and like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!